If you want to create a fully dynamic nested pie chart for your Excel dashboard or your presentation, then this video is for you. In this case, I have three sectors and I want a breakdown of energy sources. For example, if I click on my slicer, each and everything is dynamically updated. So how we can create this amazing chart, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data set on which we have category level 1, 2 and 3 data set. Of course, in this video, I will show you a 2 level nested pie chart. But later, I will show you how to create a 3 level nested pie chart as well. The first thing I will click anywhere on my table. Click on insert and we need to insert pivot table on a same worksheet on step 1 area and simply hit OK. Now, according to the step 1 instruction, create level 1 pivot table without slicer connection, rename it step 1. So, I will simply bring category level 1 on rows area and total on a values area. On a very left side, you can see pivot table and simply rename your pivot table with step 1. Hit enter. Now, I will click on design. In this case, we need to off the grand total for now. In the step 2, we need to create level 1 pivot table with slicer connection and without values field. Now, instead of creating pivot table again and again, I will simply select my entire pivot table. Hit Ctrl C, click here, Ctrl V. The first thing, we need to remove the values field. Now, I will click on my pivot table. Click on pivot table, analyze on a very left side. You can see pivot table name and simply rename this pivot table with step 2. Hit enter. The next thing we need to create a slicer and connect this slicer with only step 2 pivot table. I will click on this pivot table. Click on pivot table analyze. We need to insert slicer for category level 1 only and hit OK. For understanding, click on slicer setting, click on report connection and make sure this slicer is only connected with step 2 pivot table and hit OK. Now, if I click any of the category level 1, you can see only step 2 pivot table is updating. The next thing we need to create level 2 pivot table with values field and connect it with slicer. So what I need to do, I will copy step 2 pivot table, hit Ctrl C, click here, Ctrl V. Now instead of category level 1, I will remove this field and now I will bring category level 2 and also I will bring total on a values area. Now if I click on my category level 1 slicer, this pivot table is already connected. But we need to rename this pivot table as a step 4. I will click on pivot table analyze and simply rename this pivot table as a step 4. In the step 5, we need to create level 1 and level 2 pivot table without any values field without slicer connection. I will go on a very left side and click on my table now. Click on insert pivot table. In this case, I want to create this pivot table on a same worksheet. And for the location, I will click on step 5 area and hit OK. Of course, you can do a copy paste just like I show you. In this case, we need to bring category level 1 on rows area, category level 2 on rows area again. Click on design and simply off the grain total. Of course, we need to rename this pivot table as well. Click on pivot table analyze and rename this pivot table. Let's say step 5. Hit enter. Now click on your slicer, slicer setting, report connection. Make sure step 5 pivot table is not connected. Simply hit OK and now if I click on my slicer, this pivot table will be unaffected. In the step 6, we only need to filter pivot table 1 without blank rows. So we can use filter function and also we can use the new trim logic. So if you have Office 365, you can simply use this new trim logic. Simply click here, type equal, go to step 1 pivot table. 
Select the entire pivot table including some blank rows. If I hit enter, it will include the blank rows. Now if I click on my actor cell and after colon, if I simply type a dot, hit enter, this will automatically skip all of the blank rows. On the step 7, we need to combine step 4 and step 6 table. So I will click here and simply apply a very easy VSTEC function. Open parenthesis. Go to step 4. In this case, I will select my this entire pivot table including some blank rows. And after colon, I will simply type a dot and this will automatically ignore the blank rows. Hit comma. And for the array 2, I will select the entire step 6 data set. And now if I select all of the data, you can see a hash has been added. Simply close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we combine all of this data set. Now for the total, we need to use a very easy xlookup function based on step 7. Simply type equal xlookup function. Open parenthesis for the lookup value. I need to find the lookup value in AH column, hit comma. And for the lookup array, I will select this entire column on step 7, hit F4 key to log the reference, hit comma. For the return array, we need to bring the sum of total column. Make sure you select both of the range, same, hit F4 key. If not found, we need to bring the null result, close parenthesis, hit enter and now simply drag this formula down. Now the only thing we need to skip only the label 1 category. For example, if I simply copy this slicer, hit ctrl C and now if I click here, ctrl V. Now if I click on residential on transport, in this case we need to off the transport data set. So what I need to do, I will simply apply a very easy if condition. For now I will select this entire function, hit ctrl x, type if condition, open parenthesis. If this value equal to, scroll on a very left side, here you can see step 2 pivot table, click on this. Make sure you hit F4 key to log the reference, hit comma. If this equal to selected category level 1, then I want a null result, hit comma. Otherwise, I want the XLOOKUP function result, close parenthesis, hit enter. And now simply drag this formula down again. Now you can see, if I select industry, industry will be null and all other category level 1 will show a value. So this is the major step we need to do. Now our data are ready. We need to create a chart from this data set. Now our data set are ready. The first thing I will select all of the data on step number 6. And this is category level 1. Click on insert and we need to insert a simple pie chart. The next thing I will click on select data. In this case, I will click sum of total edit and I will change the name of series, let's say level 1 and simply hit OK. The next thing we need to add another series and for this I will write level 2 and for the series value I will select all of the total values and simply hit OK. For the horizontal x axis label, click edit. In this case, I will select all of the row labels and simply hit OK and hit OK. The next thing I will click change chart type. In this case, I will select combo chart. For the label 1, I will select simple pie chart. And for the label 2, I will select donut pie chart. Now in this case, you can see level 1 is automatically checked as a secondary x axis. Simply uncheck this one and level 2 will be our secondary x axis and hit OK. The next thing I will click on format. On the very left side, you can see a drop down. Simply select level 2 series. Right click format data series and we need to increase the donut hole size. In this case, let's say I will select 70% hit enter. For now, if I hover the mouse, you can see this is transport. 
this is residential and this is actually industry and also the sub category of industry so what i need to do i will click on this one and it will only select the green click on shape fill and simply choose the white font color hover the mouse and this is residential click on this one and it will only select the residential and make the shape fill as a white color now if i click on residential you can see this is actually industry and this is also industry because you can see on the step number 8 industry and also transport so what i need to do i will simply change the industry click again and it will only select the industry donut click on shape fill and simply choose the white font color now if i click on transport each and everything is fine so this is how we create this amazing chart now the only thing we need to apply data label for the data label i will scroll on the left side a little bit on the step number four you can see we have agriculture heat and services if i scroll a little bit more and simply click on transport it will show me all of the subcategory of transport if i click on residential it will only show me subcategory of residential i will increase the width of this column a little bit more and we need to calculate the percentage based on total so what i need to do i will write a very simple formula simply type equal and simply click appliances sum of total value but it will use get pivot table data so i will click on r and i will manually change r to s divide by sum open parenthesis and for the sum i will scroll a little bit on a lift area and i will took the sum of total column from my table close parenthesis hit enter and this is how i calculate the percentage i will simply change this to percentage and drag this formula till the end i will drag this formula a little bit more as well but i want to display the source as well so what i need to do i will simply write a text function open parenthesis what is the value this whole is my value which format you want i want the format 0.0 percent quotation mark close parenthesis hit enter and now if i drag this formula it will calculate the same result but now this is a text the next thing i also want to show the source of energy simply click on row labels and percent quotation mark corrected 10 function character 10 is actually a line break and percent again and hit enter and now simply drag this formula down now i will scroll on the right area on step number 8 we need to apply xlookup function here so i will write data label now for the data label i will apply a very easy xlookup function open parenthesis what is the lookup value this is my lookup value hit comma for the lookup array i will select my entire step number four table columns i will include some blank rows hit f4 key to lock the difference hit comma and for the return array i want to return the value from this calculated result hit f4 key to lock the difference hit comma if not found i want to return a blank result close parenthesis hit enter and now simply drag this formula down now i will go to my chart click on the chart format in this case i will select level 2 series click on this plus button apply data label more data label options on the very right side you can see label options simply click value from cell in this case i will select all of the data label column hit ok and simply uncheck the value and show leader line for the font color i will choose the white font color now if i click on my slicer each and everything is dynamically updated now the last thing we also need to apply the data label on the inner pie chart i will click on my chart click on format in this case i will select label one plus button apply data label more data label options data label expand the label options i want to show the percentage uncheck the value also i want category name 
and for the label position i want in center i will choose the font color as the white font color hit ctrl b to make it bold as well now if i click on my slicer each and everything is dynamically updated and now if i go to my table again and let's say i will increase the value up to 10 and let's say i will increase this value up to 8 you can change the value now if i go to my chart click on data here you can see refresh all simply refresh all each and everything update click on this slicer and use this amazing chart for your report i hope you learned something useful and enjoy this video i will share this template with you and i'm still working to find an easy way as well if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video thank you so much